Hi everyone, it's the Math Sorcerer here with Chegg. In this video, we're going to be discussing the laws of logarithms. Our first example is to expand the expression. In part A, we have log base 2 of 16 times x. Let's go ahead and work through this solution. So we have a product. We have a 16 times an x. We're going to use something called the product rule, which I'll write over here. The product rule says if you have log base b of x times y, that this is the log base b of x plus the log base b of y. And this product rule is one of the laws of logarithms. Okay, it's called the product rule. So basically we have multiplication and it turns into addition. So it becomes the log base 2 of your first factor, so 16, plus the log base 2 of your second factor, which is x. And we're not quite done. We have to evaluate the log base 2 of 16. So when you look at this, you ask yourself, 2 to what power is 16? 4. And that's the answer. 4 plus log base 2 of x. So that would be the expansion of our original problem. Okay, that's the expanded form, 4 plus log base 2 of x. Let's go ahead and do another example. Part B, we have the log of the square root of x times y solution. But again, in this case, we do have a product. We have an x times y, but we also have the square root. So what we're going to do is we're first going to write this as log of xy to the one-half power. Remember, you can write the one-half power instead of the square root. Then what we're going to do is we're going to bring down the one-half. Whenever you have an exponent like that, you can put it in the front. So this is one-half log x times y. The rule we used here is called the power rule for logarithms. It's one of the laws of logarithms. And it basically says if you have the log base b of x to a power, you can put the power in the front. So that's equal to p times the log base b of x. Whenever you have numbers here, you can bring them down. And now this is pretty easy. We just apply our product rule. So this is 1 half parentheses log of x plus log of y. That's the product rule we saw earlier. And then we can distribute the 1 half. So this is 1 half log x plus 1 half log y. And that would be the expanded form of the log of the square root of xy. So again, in this particular problem, when we saw that square root, you turn it into a 1 half, bring it down, then use the product rule. This is something that comes up a lot with square roots. So very useful to know how to do an example like this. Let's go ahead and do something a little bit different. Let's go backwards. So given something that looks like this, that's all expanded, we're going to try to condense it. So here is our last example. The directions are to condense the expression. And this example uses every single law of logarithms. It uses the product rule, the power rule, and the quotient rule, which is one we haven't seen yet. I'm briefly going to write the rules here on the side just using ln because that's what we have in the problem. These rules work for any log with any base. So if we have the natural log of x times y, we know that's the natural log of x plus the natural log of y. That's the product rule. If we have the natural log of x over y, this is equal to the natural log of x minus the natural log of y. That's the new one. That's called the quotient rule. And if you have the natural log of x to the p, that's equal to p to the natural log of x. That's the power rule. So these are the laws of logarithms. And in this problem, we're going to use every single one of them. Let's do it. So let's just work left to right. So we've got a minus sign so that tells us we should be using the quotient rule. However, um, there's a number in front of this second log. So let's go ahead and rewrite everything and bring that number upstairs using the power rule. So this is the natural log of x plus 1 minus the natural log of x plus 4. And then you can bring that to upstairs. So it becomes x plus 4 squared. Then plus the natural log of x plus 7. Important to be careful here. I've noticed that most people skip a lot of steps when they do these. 
that's fine. Just be careful. <laughs> just make sure you get it right. So this is equal to. <laughs> so the minus sign here is going to turn it turn it into a fraction using the quotient rule. It'll be the natural log of x plus one over, and then you have x plus four quantity squared. Okay, just like that. Perfect. So it's just the natural log of x plus one minus the natural log of x plus four squared is. And it's the natural log of x plus 1 over x plus 4 squared. So it's whatever's first goes on top, whenever second goes on the bottom. And then we still have this straggling piece, natural log of x plus 7. Now we've got a plus sign between two logs, so we can use the product rule. This will be the natural log of, parentheses, it'll be x plus 1 over x plus 4 squared. That's the first piece times and then x plus 7 and honestly you could probably just leave it like this but I'm going to go ahead and just write everything uh, a little bit cleaner this is the natural log of I'm going to put the x plus 7 upstairs with the x plus 1 so it's x plus 1 x plus 7 over and then on the bottom we have x plus 4 squared so a much harder example but a very good example in the sense that if you can do this one you should be able to do most of them. There are harder examples, but this one's, this one's pretty tough. So nice problem because it uses all the laws and just be careful when you're using the laws. Make sure you follow them you know, exactly and do lots of practice. Hopefully this video has helped you and you've learned some math. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out more videos on Chegg. Until next time, good luck.